what I've got here is one of my little Super 2's home light chainsaws and this little saw here was having a problem oiling the chain it's got an automatic oiler and uh, one of the problems was the little duckbill valve right in there that little orange tip there so I bought a bunch of these online if this is missing or if it deteriorates what happens is the saw does not idle well because it's actually air from the crankcase going into the oil tank and also it may not oil the chain properly there's two lines one that goes to your crankcase here what I had to do too is check this little connector here that goes on the other side to oil the chain that little hole right here connects to that connector I just showed you now I had to put a little fuel line on it and then actually blow in it to make sure that it was unplugged and it was okay then I, when I removed the pickup oil filter in the tank realized that this is plugged there's actually a one-way valve in there and sometimes the little ball bearing inside gets stuck and it can't oil itself so I replaced it with another filter it's down in the tank and then this line here actually gets connected down over there so I've got my lines back on. You want to make sure that this line here that goes to the chain isn't pinched. So I put it back together. I tried it out and now it does oil. You can see oil there. I'll give it a start and I'll show you. So I'll put the chain and bar back on and I'm going to try it out in a piece of wood. Just a basic maintenance tip, you want to make sure before you put your bar back on any chainsaw that the oiler hole is, on, is not clogged. You can check it from here and from the top through the bar. Because sawdust builds up in there sometimes and it clogs it up. You can tell that they used it when the chain wasn't being oiled because the bar got a bit hot here. It's not a big deal. I've got two more Super 2's here. Here's one. It says Home Light Super 2. This one's got double trigger. Trigger up here and back here. This trigger here is handy to hold it with one hand and move the piece of wood with your left hand to cut it. And here's my other one here. So they're awesome chainsaws. They're light. If you've got a bad back, they're good for that. And they always run. Anyway, she cuts good now. She's oiling pretty good now. A lot of oil on that chain. <laughs> 